हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल ई एम ई टेक्नोलॉजीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम टू मेक यूर सेल्फ प्रोडक्टिव सो फील फ्री टू कॉन्टेक्ट अस फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल ट्रेनिंग एंड समर ट्रेनिंग फॉर अल्ट्रा प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड पीक परफॉर्मेंस hi guys this is ankur sharma from eme technologies so uh, in this video we will get to know how to read from database to understand this video you will have to watch our previous video which was to write into the database in that video we created a firebase project and linked our android project with this uh, firebase project and then we wrote to that database and we sent some values to the firebase database and we were able to send these values now we have to read values from uh, that database so this is our database the key is message and the value is hello world so let me change this value uh, let me write something else here hi guys okay now this message is updated and in android studio we will read this value so we'll have to make one more function which is like read from database and in this function now we'll use this assistant to know what we have to do uh, to read the database so we'll have to copy this code and this code says tells us how to read from database so so oh, first of all okay uh, this code needs mm, reference object which we have over here so our reference is message we want to have the key here so we are adding one value event listener so what this listener does is uh, whenever the value is updated in firebase uh, we'll be able to get that value in android so and then on data change we are getting this value and logging it and if the you know fetching the data is cancelled we are again logging the error message so first of all what we'll do is we will make this my ref uh, variable public so let me just make this thing public uh, we'll create this variable globally firebase database and over here we'll write database and similar is the case with this variable because we will be accessing this variable from two functions and that's why we need to make this variables public so now it's okay and the error is you know the syntax error is resolved but okay we can log this message saying anchor okay so in my log cat over here i'll search for ankur and we'll be getting this message okay so read from database okay so now we'll call this function instead of write to database function okay read from database okay so what we are doing is uh, this value event listener returns value when it is executed and whenever the data is changed so right now the data will not be changed but still will be able to get this value and we will log this value in the log cat and our log message says value is value and if the android studio is uh, android client is unable to get this value will get the exception and will print the exception so let us read this value let me run this thing in my emulator it's going to take some time okay so the changes are applied okay we'll have to run it again
Okay, let me see what the error is. Okay, so this assigning of variable is in write to database. So we'll have to move these lines to on create. So just a second. So now it's okay. Now we won't be getting any errors. Uh, let me run it again. Okay, so our UI is pretty dumb, but we'll be able to see this value in the log section. So we'll go to log cat and I'll write Ankur. So yeah, you can see this value. The value is high, guys. So this is how we get the value from Firebase. Okay, let me do one thing. Now we'll update the UI from this value. So let me go to the layout of this main activity and go to this text section and let us make this thing linear layout and text view okay i'm gonna have to make it text view max parent wrap content text size 15 sp and text alignment center and I don't know hint yeah hint as message okay so let me make this 18 SP so it is clearly visible margin top will be third and maybe it's just you know stupid UI thing I'm doing okay uh, so we need to have one ID ID will be text okay so now in this callback on data change in addition to logging this message i'll be setting the text of this text view so let me make this text view text uh, we'll have to import this text view class okay and oh my just a second okay so here we want to get the text and now in this on data change we'll set the text text dot set text of the message so this is the string which is you know having the value got from the firebase I'm setting this text okay now let us run it again so now instead of getting the message in log, we'll be getting this message on the text view. Okay. So yeah, see. So now we have this text message here. So this is how we can read data from Firebase and uh, if you have uh, not seen our previous video, please go check on our YouTube channel and see the previous video so you'll get to know about how to read and write from database. So thank you so much. Uh, see you in the next video.